Hello from your National Weather Service office in La Crosse, Wisconsin. This is a severe weather briefing for Sunday, July 6, 2014. We are concerned about a line of strong to severe thunderstorms developing this afternoon and running into the evening hours. These storms could produce damaging winds, large hail, locally heavy rainfall, and perhaps even a brief tornado. Our confidence on this happening is about medium. Uh, we do expect the storms to form, we're just not quite sure about the timing and the locations exactly. But what we think will happen is storms will develop along a line from northern Wisconsin back into southeast Minnesota between 2 or 3 p.m. and then progress southeastward through the area. The line should affect northeast Iowa somewhere between 4 and 8 p.m. and southwest Wisconsin between 4 and 9 p.m. Taking a look at the weather map for 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, notice the cold front approaching from the west. Warm and humid air will be in place ahead of the front. By 7 p.m. on Sunday, the front will be moving through. Storms will be located mainly along and ahead of the front as it passes. And by 1 a.m. Monday, the front should be past the area and the rain should be ending. The Storm Prediction Center has indicated that we're in a slight risk for severe weather today. Notice that we're right in the middle of this slight risk area. The greatest probability of severe weather looks to be strong damaging winds. About a 30% chance notice there in the red. We also have a pretty high likelihood of large hail outlined by the yellow area as well as the black hatched area. The risk for any tornadoes is rather small, but there is a risk, so we do have to include the possibility of a brief tornado as we're watching the weather this afternoon and this evening. Taking a look at one of our various mesoscale forecast models that indicates what might happen today. This is an indication of about 2 o'clock this afternoon with a line of storms just starting to develop from northern Wisconsin stretching back into southern Minnesota. By 3 o'clock, that line looks like it's getting a little bit more organized as it progresses southeastward, moving through the area and it's stretching back into northern Iowa. Again, this is not an exact location of where storms will form, but one of the ideas that we're looking at as a scenario for today. The latest weather story, which describes this information, uh, is indicated on our webpage. You can go to that at weather.gov slash lacrosse. We will be updating this as the day goes on. It indicates the threat risk areas as well as the timing. So once again in highlight we're expecting a line of storms to develop across northern Wisconsin back into southeast Minnesota during the afternoon hours and move southeast across northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin as well lasting into the evening hours. Damaging winds, large hail, locally heavy rainfall and perhaps even a brief tornado are all possible as this line moves through. This information was prepared for you at about 4.45 this morning.